Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Step Campus. This is class 19th and we are going to learn about switching tab. Okay, so first let's go to the website and I will show you like uh, which type of uh, uh, tab switching we are going to handle and then we will go with the proper code. Okay, so this is a website, okay, which we are uh, going to see uh, for this lecture. Okay, now you can see one text here. Okay, when we, once you click on this text now, so you can see like uh, one page is opened here. Okay, just write to the previous piece. Okay, so this is a switching of tab. Okay, so we are here. Once we click here, it will open a new tab. Okay, so this is a switching of tab. Tab. Okay, so we will handle these things. I will tell you. Okay, I will tell you one thing. But yeah, we will see the practical of this as well, and then we will handle our uh, window. Okay, see. So Selenium. Like if we log in, if we write like driver dot get and when we give the URL of this page now, so website has uh, uh, Selenium has knowledge about this page only, this URL only. Okay, it has no any knowledge about this URL, this second page URL. Okay, so it will stick to the same page. If you try to interact any element into the second page, it won't give us. Okay, it will throw an error. Like element not present or any other type of error we will get, okay? Because Selenium only know about this current page, but we have uh, clicked on this one and we have switched to the next window. But Selenium don't know about this window, the new tab window. So it will give us an error if you try to interact any element into this piece, okay? Let's see first how, and then we will uh, try the code and then we will see, okay, how to handle. Okay, so first we have to open this link and then we have to click on uh, on this text okay <coughs> this is the two tasks first we have to do so go to the editor we will create one class for this one uh, which will be a uh, uh, give it switch tab okay and we will create on this public static void main okay cool now what we will do we will copy the four line from the previous one previous code okay and paste here okay so you know this thing this is for uh, invoking browser this is for implicit weight this is for maximizing the window and this is for the url uh, opening tab now uh, copy this url okay okay just copy this one and paste here save it okay just run it once again let's see uh, we are getting the desired uh, url or not okay Okay, so we can see like we got this piece. Okay, now we uh, we have to click on this uh, link. Okay, so Control Shift I. Let's let's uh, uh, we will uh, interact with this element first. So we can see we have uh, this one anchor tag. Okay, so just give Control F slash slash A slash so slash A. We can get two. Then we will go with some other thing as well. Okay, we have a class as well. So we will go with the x path at the rate class equals to. I hope you guys know how to write a x path. If not, then follow my previous lecture. Yeah, we will get the one element. Copy this one. Go to the code editor and just write here. Driver dot find element. Okay, by dot x path. Okay, and then we will give our our x path value. Okay, cool. And then we will click on this one. Okay. See, I am not giving any thread dot slip because I already use implicit weight of five seconds, so no need to give uh, like thread dot slip again and again. Okay. Uh, right click, run a Java application. Okay, it will open the page, and it will click on this. See how quick it opened the second page. Okay. Okay, now we have two pages. Okay, now suppose we want to uh, get this value as a text. Okay, so Control Shift I just grab the text and print in the console. Okay, we have this one. Uh, Control F slash slash A. Okay, uh, again we will inspect this element. Okay, at the rate. Okay, at the rate do we have anything any other tag we don't have right 
okay then what we will do now we will use this strong tag okay slash slash strong and then we will use uh, then we will use slash a now you can see we have unique element okay so from this parent we are reaching to the child one so slash slash strong this is a parent and slash a for the child one okay i already uh, told you about these things uh, in the previous so just follow the previous one you will get to know about all these things whatever i am giving you here already i have taught you before okay so no need to worry about these things if you are not getting anything just go to my previous lecture read the concept and again come back to this video and try to learn the new concept okay driver dot find element okay by xpath okay and then we have to give some value that we have created for the xpath and then we will see dot uh, get text okay now we will save this text in some string just give the name as a string text equals to okay and then we will print out our value sys out okay copy this one copy this one okay now run it it will throw an error okay it will throw an error why i already told you okay when it click on the link now so it will open a new tab and in that tab the selenium don't have any information selenium don't have any information about this web page it only have information about this page and in this page this element is not there okay so it will throw an error let's see there see what type of error we are getting just try to read this error okay we are getting no such element exception okay no such element percent like this way we are getting why we are getting okay why we are getting because i already told you we the selenium don't have the knowledge about this page we have to tell selenium manually okay forcefully so that it will go to this page and grab this information but how to do this one okay now let's see so till clicking is good okay we will give some space because we have to write some code for switching the window and then we will good to get the text of this value okay now see so first uh, we will see the window handles okay so we have to write driver dot get window handles okay and we will store this window handles it will give it will give us how many hand window are open okay so we will use a uh, set for this one okay set and then we will give as a string okay as will be capital okay uh over there we have to okay why we are getting error create for no no okay just save it now we have to import okay we have to import a set a method okay set library sorry not method it should give but i don't know why it is not uh, uh, giving us so what we will do now we will remove this line again okay let's write again okay set okay now just try to import this one yeah you can see now import set sometimes it won't give you but yeah just try to re, uh, uh, re erase this one and try to uh, give uh, from the first okay set now remove this one okay set uh, we are using set as a string string okay string and in this string uh, we will create one variable name windows okay and then we will pass driver dot get window handles okay just save it and run it okay sys out and inside sys out we will pass this window uh, window there okay save it now run it okay first i am commenting this too okay because i uh, we already seen this will throw an error that's why i am uh, uh, like commenting these things okay just run it so it will give us the number of uh, window open okay so like here we are getting two window so it will give us a two 
okay like two name of that window some string format you can see this one and this one two okay if we write this lines of code if you write this line of code uh, okay before clicking now before clicking just give a string one okay windows one okay not sorry string one string you say windows one a string windows two now save it and run it so first you will get one now second time it will give us two okay uh, run edge java application so the length of this video will be uh, like long but yeah you will get all the concepts so just uh, follow this lecture okay okay i am closing this one because already uh, so first click okay first uh, we are printing now so we are getting one okay now after clicking we can get two value okay so now with these things you can get like uh, yeah we have two window now how to iterate with the second window okay now the main question is so for this one first we will create one iterator value i t e r a i t e r a t o r okay iterator okay it will be also a string type okay and i will give it name as i t it okay equals to window windows dot iterator okay window dot iterator okay so iterator also we have to import just import this iterator iterator will uh, go to different different uh, uh, like it will iterate throughout the window uh, throughout the tabs okay that's why we are using this one okay windows we are getting some error let's see what error we are getting mm, okay this should not gives any error but i don't know why it is giving an error to us okay just try to give it a capital w okay again we are getting error it should be small w only but why we are getting error okay just see these things uh, windows uh, spelling is correct okay right correct one okay do we getting any import okay no we are not getting just remove this one again right window dot it reader it e r a t o r okay so we have uh, changed this like uh, we have created this window to uh, sorry i forgot like uh, i have given i have explained you these things right i have explained you this uh, i forgot like i have changed it to window okay so see so we are now window 2 right because we know like we have two windows so we will give it a window windows 2 dot iterator okay i forgot i thought like i have created only one window why it is not uh, getting this one but i forgot like i have given you this example also and this okay so my bad Uh, like uh, already use this window one here and windows 2 we have here okay not an issue see why i am giving window 2 here why not window 1 because in window 1 there is no any uh, like symbol of switching because there is only one window so how we will switch to this uh, another one but after clicking on the button which button i will show you again after clicking on this button this this link okay we will we will have now two windows okay so now we have a iterator uh, possible that's why we are using windows 2 okay now now okay string we will create parent so what we will kill now what we will call so this one will be parent and this will be the child because when we click on this parent then we will get this new window right so first one is a parent and second one will be a child so i will write parent parent id for example okay parent id equals to parent id equals to what it because we are iterating because we are iterating we have a variable it okay it dot next it dot next okay you can see here yeah now again string and i will give child 
child id okay equals to again it dot next see when we are writing this line na iterator so at this moment or at this moment it has it has it has knowledge of all the tabs okay it has knowledge of all the tabs okay it has knowledge of all the tabs okay but with this next tab now we are saying like which tags we have to go so it dot next okay the so first when we click it dot next then it will come to this parent again it dot next then it will come to this one okay so till here it don't have any tabs issue don't have any tabs uh, issue okay so now when we are giving it dot next so it will come to the tabs part okay so it will come to this child and then again it will come to the uh in the next uh next one so parent and child okay now now we have to write like a driver dot switch you can see here driver to driver dot switch to we have used like this one alert also but now we are you uh, now we are using a uh, like window handles right so we will uh we will write like window we like a window you can see here window okay and inside this window like we have parent child or child uh, child id so we will pass child id because in the child id okay in the child id only we have this one okay so first we will switch to the child id and then we will uncomment these two lines okay save it run it now this time it will grab information to the child id and it will print the text what the text we are asking from them okay let's see okay it will go to the next time it will switch to the child window and then it will print a tag for us let's see are we getting or not see we are getting this one okay so now we are getting the mail id what we have to see we have to see this one only right this one only now we are getting here so i hope guys you understand about this one yeah maybe like i have uh, like uh, giving you a very basic basic concept that's why this length of video will be very long but yeah once you get to know about these things na so it will be easy for you to switch between any window okay because see i also uh, forget these things to tell you okay windows 2 and all okay but yeah once you practice then you yeah, definitely you will get okay so i hope this is clear guys so that's all in this video we'll see you in the next lecture thank you bye bye happy learning